G'day, Alistair here from LearnDelphi.tv, and we'll start with a new VCL application. And what we're going to do is we're going to create an in-memory database with SQLite. We'll start with a FD connection, and what we need to do is firstly tell it we're using SQLite. And then for our database name, we go colon memory colon, and that uh, indicates that we don't want to save this database to disk and only use it in memory. Now, we actually now want to put some data in that, and I'm going to cheat a little bit by grabbing this little Northwind project I did for a some SQL injection examples. And we have a query DB reset, and let's just set the connection. And if we go in here, we can see that we are um, dropping tables if they exist, and we're creating tables, categories, customers, employees, and then we're inserting a whole bunch of data. And I could click execute here, but I'll right click instead and go execute. Ah, and the other thing I want to do is turn off the login prompt, which gets tiresome very quickly. So I want an FD query, a data source, and a DB grid. So the grid, DB grid talks to the data source, the data source talks to our, our data set, and the data set talks to our connection. And so in here I can say select star from customers. And if I open that, we see that we do and get do indeed get a um, list of customers. Now this is, of course is only in memory, it's only available to this connection, so if I actually try to run this at this point, it's going to fall over. So we've got no such table customers, which is fair enough. So in here I'm going to say Oops, qrydb dot, and then our FD query dot open, and let's turn that off by default. So now, when I run that, I've got a full relational database in memory. So we could. Uh, yeah, do whatever joins and that kind of stuff we want we would want to do between tables, which is extremely powerful. There's other ways of doing doing that with um, FIDAC. You could just use an FD mem table if you just wanted some data and memory or AT client data set. Uh, but this is how we're doing it in this example, and it is extremely powerful. I've been using it a bit. It's a great way if you want to run some unit tests and be able to execute some SQL, SQL or test your SQL to make sure that it's syntactically correct and that it does. It, possibly return the appropriate data that you're wanting. But that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Do go to learndelphi.tv and have a look at my books Code Faster in Delphi and Code Better in Delphi. I'm Alistair Christie. I will see you in the next video.